Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for September 18th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Space Song by Bill Murphy. This is a non-consecutive Sudoku. We have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, digits in orthogonally adjacent cells cannot be consecutive. So we can't put a seven, eight here, for example. These are consecutive. Uh, Diagonal is fine, no problem there. Don't have to worry about that. Just orthogonally adjacent, so like that. Those are the rules. And we've got two places we could start here. Um, Bill has given us a lot of digits on the edges. And so I think when I solved this, when I test solved this, I started in the boxes, but I'm going to start in the rows and columns this time. There are a couple of neat things. Um, that Bill has set up here that pop up a lot of times in non consecutive. But these digits are 1, 2, 5. And one thing to look for in non consecutive puzzles is when you have triples like this where two of the digits can't go next to each other. So 1 and 2 are consecutive, they can't go next to each other. So in order to make this work, 5 has to go in the middle. Otherwise, the 1 and 2 will be consecutive or next to each other and they're consecutive. And the three here resolves them. The two can't go next to three, so that must be the one, that must be the two. Here we have two, six, and seven. Six and seven can't go next to each other, so two has to go in the middle, and five tells us that six and seven go in that order. These are six, eight, nine. Eight and nine are consecutive, so they can't go next to each other. The seven can't go next to the eight. And then these are Two, six, nine, and none of these are consecutive with each other. However, the one here tells us two can't go there, two also can't go here. So this is our two, and we're left with a pair here that we can't resolve yet. All right, let's look at the boxes next. We have four digits missing, and they are one, two, seven, and nine. The one can't go in these cells. The two can't go in these cells. Uh, seven can't go here. Uh, I think that's it in the box. Uh, now this is a slightly more advanced step. A um, couple ways of looking at it. Uh, the first is one is in one of these cells. So if two were also in one of these cells, we would have a one and a two next to each other. That doesn't work. So two can't go here, it must go here. Um, another way of looking at it is these are the cells that 1 and 2 can go in. If this were 1 or 2, then we would have the same problem we would have had up here. We need a digit in the middle between these cells. So this is not 1, 2. This is 2. This is 1. And we can't resolve the 7, 9 yet. We will get to that later. Um, these are 2, 5, 6, 8. Again, we have 5 and 6 that can't go next to each other, and these aren't 5, so one of these is 5, these can't be 6, uh, these aren't 2, so now we have a 5-8 pair, and the 7 is going to resolve this. This is the 5, which means this can't be 6, and that places all of those digits. Down here we have 2, 4, 6, and 9, none of those are consecutive. However, there's 5 here, so this can't be 4 or 6, or 2, so this is just 9 placed. We have a 6 up here, so this must be our 6. And the 2, 4 we can't resolve. These are 3, 6, 8, 9. These can't be 9, and the 8 and 9 can't go next to each other, so if there's a 9 here, there can't be an 8. These are not 6. And there's a 6 here. This is not 6. So that's going to resolve 8 and 6. And then the 9 can't go next to 8. That 9 is going to resolve uh, 7, 9 up here. And again, we've resolved everything except for a pair, uh, which we will resolve eventually. Um, now that we have those digits in the corner boxes, now we have more rows that. Are only missing three digits, so we can look at those now. Uh, this can't be nine, this can't be four or six because of five, so this is nine. 
Uh, these are 3, 7, 8. 7 and 8 can't go next to each other, so that must be the 3. And then 8, 7, like that. And the 7 can't go next to the 6. These are 3, 4, 8. 3 and 4 can't go next to each other, so that's the 8. Uh, the 3 can't go next to the 2. And then these are 1, 5, 9. I will go ahead and fill those in so we can look at them. Um, none of these are consecutive with each other. Uh, but this can't be 5 because of the 6 and the 4. This can't be 9. Uh, I think that's it for those. Come back to them. Uh, these are 3, 5, and 8. Got a 3 there. This also can't be 5 because of the 6. And this also can't be 3 because of the 2 there. Um, the 8 then is going to resolve our 6, 9. And that didn't tell us anything about these. Uh, we already had 5 and 9 ruled out of these two cells. These are 1, 4, 7. This can't be 7. This can't be 4. And again, we already knew both of those things without looking at the non-consecutive. Uh, this also can't be 4. So 4 there. Uh, 1 and 7 here are unresolved, though, I believe. All right, let's look at this. Um, we have two or four here, so we're actually missing four digits in this row. They are one, two, four, and five, and we have two pairs here. Um, the one and the two can't go next to each other. The four and five also can't go next to each other. And this is one or two because of the four, five in the column. So if this is one or two, these aren't. And that means we have a four, five pair. This is two, this is four, this is one. And the four here resolves that. These are 2, 3, and 7. The 7 has to go in the middle, and there's a 2 there. These are 2 and 8. These are 3, 5, 7, which we should be able to do. So that's not 5, which means this is our 5. This is 1 or 9, but it can't be the 1 because of the 2. And that's going to resolve those. The 7 resolved those. We're left with one and six to finish it off. Uh, so yeah, that's the solution. Um, I mean, these are classic non-consecutive tricks, and Bill has just filled this puzzle with them. Um, so it's a very nice uh, flow to it. Um, really enjoyed that one. Uh, that's the second um, negative constraint puzzle that we've done in a row of Bills. Um, so. Yeah, let us know what you think about those. I like negative constraints quite a bit. Uh, but they're hard to set. They're hard to set good versions of them. Um, so this is a very impressive construction to me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.